Hello Frisbee fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today we're going to be talking about link files. Link files are forensic goodness that I could talk about in 3 Minutes Maxes throughout the week, but we've only got two days set aside for them. So how about we get started? Where do these things live? They live at the root of C inside users, and because they're a user-specific artifact, we're going to go into our user app data roaming, Microsoft Windows, and into the recent items folder. On the right hand side of the screen, you're going to see all of these files and they look like files. But if we look at the properties of them, we could see they're not actually files, they're shortcuts. But they're not like the shortcuts that you're putting on your desktop so you can get to a file quickly. These only get created when you interact with a file. So this is attribution. Let me give you an example of what this looks like. I'm going to go down to my user folder and I'm going to open up a folder in here. And when I open up a folder in here, I'm going to go inside there. I'm going to move that so you can see a little better. Once I get inside there, I'm going to open up this 123deathstar.txt. You can see on the right hand side, it just got created. Why? Because I opened the file. I didn't have to do anything else with it. I just opened it. We can see we have a date created and a date modified and they equal each other. The time that I just created this, they're equal, which means I only opened it once. If the date modified was later than the date created, that means I opened it more than once. I don't know how many times I opened it, but I opened it more than once. This is great for us, but look at these timestamps. When I go back to the file itself and I look at the date and timestamp for the file itself, it shows us a different date and timestamp. Why? Because over here, this is the date and time of the file itself, and over here is the date and the time of the shortcut to the file, the fact that the file was interacted. If I delete that file, it doesn't matter. The link file still stays there. This is great in forensics, so we can go back and see what happened before. So now how do we get forensic goodness out of this? Well, surprise, surprise, we get to use another Eric Zimmerman tool, LECMD. -E I'm going to point that at a file, dash F, and then I've got to tell it where that file is. We already said it's in our users, and we know that because it's user specific, we're going to go digging in app data, roaming, Microsoft, Windows, Recent. Oh, but we're out of time. We are out of time. So we're going to carry on where we left off tomorrow to show you what's inside this mystical, magical artifact. So in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of Sans 3 Minutes Max.